My name is Mark Winter, I'm an animator and designer and I work um, for Dog Eat Cog. A typical day for me involves quite a lot of different things, from client meetings to reviewing storyboards, developing animations. Animation is a really broad subject, and there's a lot of different paths you can go down from being a sort of motion designer to a 3D animator, or you could even go down the traditional animation route, which I think is what a lot of people think of when you say animation, is that sort of Pixar, Disney style animation. So the work I do is primarily 2D animation. I work in Adobe After Effects and we usually work on anything from these sort of narrative driven explainer videos to sort of more motion graphics type videos which involve a lot of typography and video work as well. I think there's a lot of differences between working freelance and working for an agency. Um, I've done both. I started as a freelancer for several years. It really sort of pushes you to develop. You're being sort of pitted against people a lot. So it really is beneficial to sort of learn as many skills as you can really, which is what really helped me develop as a sort of multidisciplinary designer. I do a lot of animation, but I also do a lot of digital design work as well and print work. I think the main difference is as a freelancer, you're obviously responsible for a lot of different things. You're the project manager, you're the accountant sometimes, you're the creative director and you're sort of having to deliver all aspects of a project a lot of the time. But obviously when you're in an agency, it's much more of a, a team environment where you've got that sort of support around you um, and a lot more people to work with. One of the reasons that I transitioned from a freelance background to an agency one was um, I really enjoyed that sort of team aspect. Um, as a freelancer, I'd done several sort of in-house stints in agencies um, and I really enjoyed the environment there, uh, which was what helped me push me in that direction. After working for several agencies, I now co-own one with um, some other designers. So I think it's a really good balance. It has that sort of freelance aspect where we're sort of managing the clients, but also I have that sort of team environment now and I get to work with people and you get to bounce ideas off with people a lot, which is something I really enjoy. One thing I really love about my job is the sort of creation aspect. I love to sort of take a client brief or just a few words from a page and sort of really bring those to life. I think especially with animation, the sort of sky's the limit in terms of creativity, so you can really bring those stories to life for clients, which I think is always really amazing to see. I think creativity is an ongoing process. Um, my degree wasn't specifically in animation, but it opened up a lot of sort of different avenues, um, different pathways to go down. Um, and I'm sort of largely self-taught in the sort of design and animation area. And I sort of put that down to doing that sort of creative degree, which helped me sort of um, move into those areas. Mm -hmm.